Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's see the next five words. Upper has come from the Sanskrit word upper. Medium has come from the Sanskrit word madhyam. Character from charitra. Widow from vidhava. Heart from hride. Hardik. Nose has come from the Sanskrit word Nasika, right? The, Sans the English word state came from Stiti. What's the state of your family? Aapke parivar ki kya stiti hai? Stiti state, right? Tha changed to ta. Arm has come from Sanskrit word irm, right? Look has come from the Sanskrit word alok, lokyate, look at, right? There is a, there was a organism named as gastropod. Gas, gastro means stomach and pad, a pod means legs. It cognates with pad a which means par right and path is path right so pad pod path path right this path have already covered now there is a word in english in lieu of in lieu of means in place of right or to replace right uh, we can say that the captain Virat Kohli was placed in lieu of Manendra Singh Dhoni, right? So the word lieu has in turn come from the word locus, right? For example, the locus of point and locus cognates with loc, right? The English word dupius, which means two-ness, we have already had dwe asti, dwe, duvida, dubius, dubius, duvida, du, dwe, tu, asti, as, ness, right? Peri, the Sanskrit word, excuse me, the English word peri, for example, the perimeter, peripheral, the word peri means around. It's a, it's a prefix. Right. Similarly, in in Sanskrit, the word we have is pari, right? Parikrama, parimap, right? Now, one more observation I made is that in ancient Greek, e was written something like this. Now, this is quite similar to e written here. In fact, what we call the badi e ki matra also is found here in the ancient Greek right in fact the English word P is also quite similar to the Sanskrit word pa, right and what we can see here Right? So this is how similar are these, right? So we have covered up till 45 words, right? Thank you.